Right. Hello and welcome to another edition, or actually not even another, the first edition of the Slow Pitch Softball here at Farnham Park. And what we're looking at here is the very first pitch in the inaugural televised web stream of the finals here. Now joining me will, will, is uh, another member of the um, of the softball community, as we just saw the first pitch going to. Um, we have pitcher Dan Spinks pitching, and we have a hit ball going to right field. It's in fair territory. And he's still going. Will this be the, our, our first web stream inside the park home run? And yes, we, we do. We have, we're already up one on the board here as the Chromies from London take first blood here. And now what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is the Pioneers versus the Chromies. This is a uh, best of eight, uh, seven innings, uh, but the, we're looking at the best eight softball teams here in the country. And we'll whittle, whittle down to two here. Now if you're unfamiliar with the rules of slow pitch, Softball. Uh, I've got Rachel standing to my to my left here, and Rachel, if you want to actually explain to us and let us know what your background is, as we just see that another pitch here going by uh, of what the differences and nuances of the difference between slow pitch soft softball and fast pitch softball. Fundamentally, they're very much the same game, but it's all about hitting the ball, running around the bases, and scoring runs. And from a fielding point of view, stopping stopping them from being able to do that. The main differences from watching fast pitch and slow pitch is the, the pitching. Slow pitch softball, it has to, to reach quite a high height. Fast pitch, it's all about making it flat, hard, and moving the ball um, at great speed, 70 miles an hour um, from, from 46 feet away. Other than that, the only other big difference to see is that in the outfield, slow pitch play with 10 players. Fast pitch only playing with nine. So from a hitting point of view, it's much harder unless you put the ball over their heads to, um, to get on base from an outfield hit and slow pitch because there's just that extra player out in the outfield. Thank you very much. Rachel Watkins there giving us the insight of what is needed to know about this wonderful sport that uh, is also co-ed, if, uh, if you're unfamiliar. Uh, the good thing about this, the interesting thing about this team in particular, we have Dan Spinks pitching to Kelly Spinks, uh, who's the catcher, which is a husband and wife battery, which you don't see very often in uh, organized sports as a beautiful hit is just thrown, gone to center field, caught, and that will end uh, the final out of the inning. Uh, it was three up, three down, and we change now as the Pioneers go up to bat. And then, oh, sorry, one uh, inside the park home run. It wasn't three up, three down. But it felt like it. <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to take a, a quick uh, break to looking at something that was might interest you viewers here. And uh, for the Academy, this is the Baseball Solver UK Academy. Now, if you're interested in, uh, in honing your skills and, uh, and basically maximizing your potential is, is, is what we're looking for here. Uh, for those who want to improve their skills and really push the envelope of, uh, if you're already in organized baseball or softball, this BaseballSoftballUK.com Academy will help you out. So just basically visit BaseballSoftballUK.com slash, forward slash that is, of course, Academy and learn all the ins and outs of how you can improve your game. Back to the action now, Pioneers are up to bat as it's one nothing going into the bottom of the first inning. And there you go, the first pitch. Ball right back to, to the pitcher. And uh, basically, uh, t tell us about your background, Rachel, uh, about how, how did you actually get into, into softball? I grew up, um, I was born here, but moved to Australia when I was a child. And funny enough, my mum wanted to play a sport where she could meet some friends. Signed up to the local softball team. They saw she had three little girls and that was it. And I was seven, I'm now a lot older than that. And I played all my life in Australia. And then when I moved back to the UK 10 years ago, 
took a few years out and then started playing in London for the London Angels and then um, after a year represented Great Britain and played for Great Britain in the women's team for a number of years and then retired and I was the physio for the under-19s for, for a year and I'm now the head coach of the under-19 girls team. Steve Hazard, the shortstop at bat now um, for the Pioneers. We, has, we already have two outs. The uh, out, saw the out at first. And uh, pitching for the Chromies, we have... Uh, no, but for the Chromies, we have David Lee. Umpiring behind home play, by the way, is uh, Dutchman uh, Hans Danden, who's been uh, umpiring for quite a while now. A pro at the uh, this game. Uh, he's a uh, hardware software specialist. <laughs> and we have a hit now as we see Stephen Hazard takes a double. Overthrow at first. And after a fantastic stop, but uh, all to no avail because Steve Hazard is now standing pretty at second base. Yeah, with two outs, he's going to might be a hit and run here. We're looking out here, folks. Next up at bat is Laura Bruckman Hill. She plays outfield. She does a nice hit here. As we see a not a run scoring here. It is now 1-1. With still two outs here at the bottom of the first. Pitcher Dan Spinks coming up to bat now. And uh, now usually in baseball you see uh, a pitcher would be an inferior batter at the plate, but I think Dan has the, uh, the know-how here and the, the skills to probably go deep here. I see this now, and I might do some jinx. David Lee getting ready to bat now. Of course, you see this. Unusual EFIS pitch, almost if you will, as done in slow pitch uh, softball. Which is pretty much what separates slow pitch to fast pitch. There is, and it is possible to actually strike out in slow pitch, isn't is it? Not? Definitely. Next pitch now to Dan. And it is a pop out to left field. And that'll end the inning. No, it's a win. Okay, well, uh, the, uh, we now go up to the top of the second inning. And the score is now tied at one. If you want to get involved with even more baseball fun and shenanigans here in the UK. We're, uh, just let, let's, let us know if, uh, email us at, uh, basically, if, oh, actually, if, even if you want to get into coaching, that is baseballsoftballuk.com forward slash coach. Uh, whether you're just starting off in coaching or aspiring to coach on an international level, PSUK's official coach education program can give you all the tools you need. Details uh, for the 2014-15 courses will be released shortly. And now the, we start off the top of the second inning with David Lee, who just uh, d sing, doubled to, to center field there. David Lee, who's uh, doing pretty a second now. Coming up next, I bet this is, is hopefully driving in. Misha Soklova, he's in the Czech Republic. And her twin sister, Marqueta, who actually is playing on the same team, keeping the family. And it is a grounder to shortstop. Runner will not advance. Misha out at first. Hey, 
Coming to bat next is Eric Kelly, the outfielder. And there's a pitch, and it's a very long drive caught by the left fielder. Sean Spinks, who's uh, obviously related with the Spinks. Dan's brother, Kelly's brother-in-law, if you will. And as I was saying before, there aren't many te uh, team sports where you can have uh, a husband and wife in the same team playing semi-professionally. So right now we're looking at the two best teams that can be had here. Marketa Sokova, the twin sister of Misha, who just batted earlier, up at bat. And she swings. And it goes foul. Might be missing some of the crowd here. We're enjoying uh, their, their uh, confectionery, which is supplied by uh, some, some fine. Uh, I don't know if I can actually mention their name, but uh, I've, I've, managed, been, I've been actually uh, munching a lot of their, on their confectionery goods earlier. That's my class roll level. Another swing, and it goes foul, uh, foul and not caught. So she's out. Is that correct? So, uh, Diamond Finder, if you... If you actually want to find out where in your area that you can actually play uh, baseball or get involved with baseball, or softball, of course, you use the Diamond Finder and find your nearest team, your nearest park, your nearest club, your nearest league. Just go to baseballsoftballuk.com forward slash finder. And that's the only way to get really involved in this game is just find out where in your local area or region that they have baseball or softball. So we now go to the bottom of the second inning. Elizabeth Keaveney coming up to bat. She plays first base for the Pioneers. And that will drop for a ball. Another pitch, and she takes that grounder two, back to the pitcher, and thrown out at first. That marks the first out of the, at the bottom of the first, the bottom of the second inning here. Left fielder Sean Spinks coming to bat now. David checking out to see uh, his players are in position. Pitch is coming through. That'll be, a, that'll be a strike. And that'll be a grounder to third. For the first in time. And that'll mark the second out of the bottom of the second inning. Score is still a 1-1. Here at the bottom of the second. Here comes the bat bat now. Canadian Kelly Spinks from the page. She's been living in the UK for 10 years now. And uh, obviously married to a British man, so she's either bringing her Canadian softball knowledge to the to the thing, and she grounds to the first stop and is not in time. She, well, that is, she's not in, in time. That's three outs now. Change of pace. Now, BSUK Hot Corner. If you uh, stay up to date with all the latest British and softball news, wherever you are, subscribe at uh, baseballsoftballuk.com forward slash hot corner dash archive so you can get uh, the weekly newsletter into your inbox and all the latest you need to know about British baseball and softball. Going to the top of the third now. This game's moving along. Left fielder Jake. 
Uh, my Palmer. Dan Spinks delivers. Right. It'll be a strike. Went over the plate. He's going to swing for it. Nice swing. Drops into left field for a single. He'll be held at first. Still tied here, 1-1. One, one. Top of the third. Now watch the moment. Dan Spinks running up the troops here. With next hitter coming up, he's going to make sure everyone's in position. Catcher Vicky, Vicky McKendrick. Right-handed batter. So at this point, this is where you actually, when you have a man or a woman at second base, you sort of pivot your fielders to make sure that whether they either go home or stay at third or try to get out at first. Grounder now to third. Hold off the runner second. So the runner going from first to second gets out. But uh, Kendrick stays safe at first. Would be considered a hit, but. Second baseman Danny Gunn up next to the bat, everybody. And. Vicky Manor still at first, one out at the moment. Danny Gunn from Born Luton lives in Manchester at the moment. Here's a pitch, and that's a very nice swing. Gets past the shortstop, ends up in left field. Runner held second. We have runners on first and second. Still only one out. Next batter up. Harry Louie, GB national team player. Uh, born in Seattle, Washington, but currently living in the United States. He's into advertising. Sorry, I'll be a big pardon. Currently living in London. Uh, well, that would be one heck of a commute. Uh, how she got in softball is uh, her dad put a glove in her crib. She watched her dad's slippage team when she was young. And she, she is now in Farnham. In the UK playing softball for the Chromies. And the pitch. A hit. Gets past the second baseman. Throw. Cut off by the pitcher. Everybody safe. Base is loaded now, but there's still only one out. So it's all up to the next batter. Which is Alex Morel. You know, of course, I'm going to probably totally butcher this name because Alex was actually born in Slovenia. I'm going to have a hazard to guess that it's actually uh, Moravlish. I'll apologize later to him. He currently lives in Reading, which is only hop, skip, and a jump from here. And he also swings heavily over, and it goes back, 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 and it is a home run, ladies and gentlemen. A grand slam home run at that. Four runs come in. Beautiful going deep past the 285 foot mark over the head of the left fielder, Sean Spinks. And we have, ladies and gentlemen, a 5 1 ball game here at the top of the third inning. There's still only one out. Oh, yeah. Next. next. Uh, Yes, left center fielder Mo Flett is now up at bat. The clear bases, still only one out. And uh, Rachel, does this become demoralizing for a for a team like this at this juncture? I wouldn't have thought so. It's still very early in the game, and certainly um, the Pioneers have a lot of batting power themselves. So I don't think they'll get drop their heads just yet. It, it is pretty early, I admit, but um, no one should. We, do, we are playing seven innings here, and it's only top of the third. All to play for. It's a nice bloop single to center field for Mo. Still stay at first base. He's still only one out. If you're just joining us, it's 5-1 now. 
for the Chromies against the Pioneers. And we have a runner on first. Next batter up for the Chromies. Pitcher David Lee. He's, uh, he's obviously already been up a batter up before. First pitch goes down for a strike, I believe. Taylor Lee's from uh, born in, Bur in Birmingham. He's a photographer. And uh, the old joke is, uh, how did he get in softball? Well, he said he, he, said he was press ganged. That's uh, into it. But nice pop fly to the second baseman, though. That'll register the second out of the inning. We're still a runner on the shortstop, rather. So beg your pardon. And we still have a runner on first for the Chromies. Misha Soklova, one of the uh, Czech twins who, are on this, who play on this team, is up the bat. Pitch comes through. Two wide. That'll be a ball. Now Misha and her sister actually play for the G for the Czech national team. And they currently reside in the UK, so they're uh, able to harness their uh, softball skills and keep them, keep them sharp by playing in this tournament. And pitch goes. And a nice swing past the second baseman. We now have runners on first and second. Have you played against uh, these Czech twins before, have you, Rachel? I have in fast pitch, yeah, and I've actually played with them as well. So, yeah, I know them quite well. So I guess it's easy to say they are pretty handy with the bat and ball. Absolutely, yeah. It's funny enough, I've played against most of these girls playing fast pitch before, so although I don't play slow pitch, I certainly still know them. That actually ended the inning. Uh, so we're now going to go to the bottom of the third. We'll have the Cita Chu Spiegel be batting next for the Pioneers. Apparently, if you're just joining us, it is the bottom of the third. 5 1 to score for the Comies versus the Pioneers. Fleeto, who's coming up to bat next uh, in the order. Um, she's originally born in Boston, Massachusetts. Living in, the, in London, currently possessing both a U.S. and U.K. passport. She's comes in handy accustomed to Heathrow. And she's a lecturer, uh, and she's... The way she got into uh, softball was just playing baseball in New York City. He has to say, sorry. And he says uh, he uh, pretty much enjoys playing uh, softball here. And that's a swing. Straight to the shortstop. Throw to first in time. And that's a register the first out here. And bottom third. Come to that next for the Pioneers. It's Kim, right fielder Kim Akehurst. I know for a fact that's a woman. The pitch comes through. It doesn't let it go by. Came here, born in Canterbury and uh, currently living in London. Works in a bank. And uh, how did she get a softball when she was asked? Basically, she's one of the lucky ones with that. It was part of the curriculum in her school. Swing and straight to the shortstop. Throw in time. Yeah, that'll be the second out. Lot to do up here for the uh, the Pioneers. They got an uphill struggle now. And it is only bottom of the third. I need seven innings to be played. Next, Zimbabwe native Robbie Robinson. He's the leadoff hitter. We're back at the top of the order here. Swing over to. 
Third base. He's safe at first. Going on in time. Born Harari, but uh, currently residing in Newbury here in the UK. Next up at bat for the Pioneers with two outs and the man on first. Amy Rice. She's a, should I say, a doctor Amy Rice, actually. She should be more formal than that. She's a doctor playing softball in her spare time. Swing to the shortstop. And that'll do it. Three up, three down. As the inning ends, five to one, still in favor of the Chromies. We're going to the top of the fourth inning. The video competition that is being held here for the uh, British Softball UK. Basically, what we're looking for here is if you got, we want you to convince the nation to uh, basically get into baseball and or softball. We want you to, to send us a two-minute video explaining why the nation should be playing softball, why should they should be getting involved in, in baseball even, and basically Baseball Softball UK will decide who's worthy of these coupons and these vouchers for 100 pounds from the baseball shop and or the softball shop, your choice. All you have to do is log on to baseballsoftballuk.com slash video comp, now capital V and capital C by the way, not to be pedantic, but that's how you that's how you enter. Closing date is 15th of September, on, on, which is not far away actually, which is more, more, almost more like the end of summer, but I think we're still embracing summer for all its glory and, and what a fine date it is to play baseball today. Hey, Raquel, you next up. Uh, he lined up at his last at bat. And uh, as the Chromies go into the top of the fourth with a 5 1 lead. Nine hits to two at the moment in favor of the Chromies as well. Now, to, well, all weekend, the Pirates were pretty much leading this competition and uh, dominating with their bats and defensive prowess. But now, with the, as you can see, there's a bit of a the, the sun is going to be a factor here as it goes lower into uh, center field. More of a factor for the batters and the fielders, but it hasn't seemed to affect the Chromies that much. Vic Meech is coming to right field for Kim Makehurst. A little bit of a change there for the. Uh, Pioneers, giving someone else a chance. So I'm not sure if it's the fatigue of uh, taking his toll on the Pioneers. Because um, they have played a lot of games over the weekend. But here they are in the final against the Chromies. And you can say the same thing about the Chromies too. They actually played an extra game to get to where they are here. Marketa Suklova actually here uh, at bat, I should say. One of the check wins. And, uh, swing as it'll be a foul. Trying to think of a pun with Czech and Republic, but it's a throwing on dry. That was a good pitch. That was over the plate. Umpire calls that a strike. Mar Marquetta strikes out, indicating the first out of this inning. Second out, big burn. Or, oh, oh, we tried that again. Still one out. Actually. This game's moving fast, quite at a fast pace for slow pitch. Eric Kelly now with that. They've actually changed the order of, the, of their lineup here. He fight out the first time up. His wife team spinks and a swing which goes foul.
I'm probably doing a bit of dusting now. Still one out here in the five to one contest in favor of the cronies. A swing, which goes to the right left fielder. He loses it in the shade. He throws it to cut off man and he Code into third with a stand up triple. Might be considered a defensive error by the left, uh, left fielder, Sean Spinks. It is a tough area to, uh, where he's standing, actually, because it's half shade, half sunshine. So we lost it in the half shade and half sunshine is, uh, is to be considered. Next up at bat for the Chromies. Cat that is one of the other twins uh, from the Czech Republic. She swings and should be a Marketa Sklova. Sacrifice hit, uh, which brings in a runner to make it 6-1. We'll have two outs, and that will be retro as an out, but irrelevant because she actually brings in an extra run to pad that lead for the Chromies. Next to bat for the Chromies. Jake Palmer, the left fielder. He had a single the first time up. Nice swing, which goes back to the left fielder, who will make a mistake this time, apparently, and he catches it. That'll, that'll register the third out of the inning. No matter, the Chromies get an extra insurance run to make a 6 1. As we go to the bottom of the Fourth. India is the last great untapped market. What is with all the honking? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We find new fans there. The financial opportunities are endless. And you want to set this up like it's a talent contest. Exactly. See, once we go over there and find these guys, we bring them back here, we train them in LA, then we get them signed with a professional franchise. Can you do it in one year? An American company is hoping to find a cricketer to throw a very fast ball with the chance to win $1 million. Don't waste your time. You have real work to do. It's a great opportunity for all of us. The potential of this thing is off the chart. Ray, you feeling it? I'm feeling something. I think it's the dinner I had last night. If you were to win the contest, what would you do with the money? Call that juice. What you want juice? I'll get it. They're gonna have a great time in LA. Lots of fun. These boys from these villages, it's life changing for them. And for you, it's a great responsibility. This thing, these kids, I have a lot riding on this. Okay, so how's it going? It's very hard. I don't like seeing that side of you. What side is that? The side that puts the deal before everything else. Well, maybe that's just who I am. Maybe. I hope not. Hey, guys, come on. Let's have some fun. I got you something. Really? Brought you the Taj Mahal. This is amazing. Guys, no matter what happens, I have never been more proud of anyone in my entire life. Hey, brothers, I'm seeing my dream in both of you. Okay, boys, knock him dead. All right, come on. Welcome back, folks. You're just joining us now. We've uh, already have one, on, one out and one on here for the Pioneers in the bottom of the fourth inning. The uh, Ben Spinks up to bat at the moment, the pitcher. Dan Spinks, I beg your pardon. Laura Brockman Hill at first base. We had Steve Hazard who grounded out uh, earlier to go to the first out. And it's a swing, it goes to right field. Runners advance. And we have runners at the corners now on first and third. Fine hit by Dan Spinks. Liz is up to bat next. 
Miss Keevney plays first base for the Pioneers. Started job of bringing some of these runners at the corners in. That's not at least one. With one out here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing, and it's going to be a caught. You know, runners will hold at the corners. Two outs here for the Pioneers. Looks like now the task has to move over to the next batter for the Pioneers lineup, which will be Sean Spinks. Uh, left fielder for the Pioneers. Currently 0 for 1, ground first time up. Trying to redeem himself for his defensive error in uh, left field earlier. A swing to left field where he usually resides. Runners will advance. Runners, one runner will score, and we now have a 6 2 ball game. There's two here in the bottom of the fourth. Well played there by Dan Spinks. Now his wife comes up to bat, Kelly Spinks from Canada. And she's a uh, Montreal Canadiens fan in ice hockey, which is unorthodox if you're from Toronto. It's like being from Liverpool and supporting Man U. Nice swing. Runners will try to advance. And that'll end the inning. Third out there. And we still have one, one runs on the board, 6 2 at the bottom of the fourth. Now, don't forget if you want to get involved in the academy, uh, this is to maximize your potential. Designed to help young players uh, plan the offseason. As an opportunity to get better. For all you aspiring pros who want to improve your baseball or softball skills, sign up now at baseballsoftballuk.com forward slash academy. And like I said, I love that. Maximize your potential. It's maybe a cliche, but it's oh so true if you want to get further in this game. And this game is actually, both baseball and softball, is going on the up and up, uh, as can you tell, Rachel? Definitely, and hopefully, fingers crossed, in December there'll be a vote that might just bring both sports back into the Olympics in 2020, which would be fantastic for the sport. Lots of funding and hopefully motivate some young kids to get involved in both games. So definitely, definitely huge numbers playing, especially slow pitch in the UK and, and throughout Europe as well. Just had the, the World Championships of the fast pitch in, in Holland held out, outside of the traditional softball nations for the first time ever, and huge crowd sell out. So... Definitely on the increase. First out there for the Chromies as uh, Vicky McKendrick out, thrown out at first. And yes, the, uh, the, the regarding light of the 2020 Olympics being held in Tokyo is, as we all know, Japan's a, a baseball and softball crazy nation. So they're actually really pushing for, for them to have baseball and softball back in, as we see a grounder back to the pitcher. And the second out for the Chromies here at the top of the fifth inning. Score still 6-2 in favor of the Chromies. And Adam, basically the, the, the Japanese do have the infrastructure already in place for baseball and softball. So it wouldn't be even a question of like, well, if, if it does get reinstated as Olympic sport, it'd be very easy. And, and of course, that'll mean baseball and softball be reinstated as Olympic sports uh, with Olympic status, and that will help. GB softball and baseball athletes regain their Olympic status and improve their careers. Next up a bat here for the Chromies is third baseman Chai Louie. One for two so far, and she swings, goes deep into center field, but caught for the third and final out here in the top of the fifth as we go to the bottom of the fifth. With only two more to play for for here for the Pioneers who need to desperately to get four runs to tie it up. And uh, we're looking, if you're actually looking to improve your coaching, um, basically, let's hope that the, that the sport gets his Olympic status back, which means you'll they'll need better coaches, or improved coaches. I'm not saying that they don't have good coaches now. But if you're an aspiring coach, if you're perhaps if you're at a regional level at the moment and you want to get to an international level and, and really expand your coaching skills and bring the grassroots of baseball and softball 
to larger scales more than it is today here in the UK, just go to baseballsoftballuk.com forward slash coach. Be what it takes to be a coach. Now we're at the bottom of the fifth. Fita, Fita, to Siegel, or Seagal, she said, who was a male. Got the last one, and now, unfortunately, grinds out again, but no, actually, gets passed. But he'll stay at first base. He'll run back to first and in time. Save at first with uh, still zero outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Big Chevin uh, now up at bat. If we, if we replace Kim Akers in right field. She's going to have to go with her bat here and hopefully drive in a run or at least advance runner, but that won't happen this at bat as she flies out. The shortstop. Looks at the bat. Robbie Robinson for the uh, Pioneers with one out here. The runner at first. A swing, which goes deep and falls in. And we have advanced runners. Runs at the corners. There's still only one out here. Good play by Robbie Robinson there. Second hit of the game. Amy Weiss up the bat. I mean, well, they won't be looking for a sacrifice hit, so they're going to need everything they can get here without sacrificing any outs. This is, having said that, that's the second out of the inning. Runner scores, though, from a sacrifice. We have a 6 3 ball game, and the runner on first advances to second. From an overthrow, which will, might be considered an error. That's not up to me, it's up to the official score. Well, it's, it's not up to the bad player either. If he had his choice, he would say it would be an error. Throwing out for the next batter up for the Pioneers. Steve Hazard, shortstop. GB player as well for the uh, for Fast, fast and slow pitch uh, softball, so he knows what he's doing here. It's up to him to prove to his teammates that he can drive in a run, and he does that, perhaps, potentially. As, as yes, he gets waved into third, and he goes into second with a stand up double. Steve Hazard. Let's go down 6 4 as the Pioneers claw back from that deficit to make it a two run deficit. He scores now 6 4 in the bottom of the fifth with two outs. That is coming up to bat next. Laura Brockman Hill. He's two for two right now, and two singles. So she's been handy with the bat. She swings away, which lands in. And of course, look, look at this. Would you, would you know it, folks? It is now 6 to 5. Two outs with a runner still at first base. So that's three for three now for Laura Brockman Hill, proving her worth. Dan Spinks now. Right on the single earlier. Third at bat. And that's that one go for a strike. So with the runner at first, all he needs to do is drive this runner in. Mind you, a home run will, will actually tilt the game upside down and we'll put the Pioneers in the lead. So we'll go for another ball. Dave Lee still pitching. Dan Spinks asking for a good time out there. This uh, field's seen a lot of wear and tear over the, over the weekend, and uh, but the ground staff done a wonderful, wonderful job in keeping it as pristine as possible.
This comes in. And it will be a ball. So we have runners at first and second with two outs. And the bottom of fifth. And of course, in this in this uh, in this game, of course, you get two bases if you walk. And uh, basically, we have a guest in our studio here. And this is uh, Sean Spinks at the bat, who's going to try to get his brother, who's a second, in. And of course, Tying runs at third base right now. Takes a nice swing. It falls in, and would you know it? We actually have two runners scoring right now to make it a score seven to six for Pioneers, who have actually turned things around to take the lead away from the Chromies, who are leading six one at one point. It's seven six, bottom of the fifth, and still only two outs, and still the Pioneers are attacking. Kelly Spinks up to bat. Swings away, a grounder to back of the pitcher. Easy out at first. That'll end the inning, but five runs score. It is now 7-6 for the Pioneers, who just basically made an incredible comeback. Now, if you want to find out where in your area you can take up the game of baseball or softball, if you're wondering one word, there's actually a baseball field in my region. Well, yes, you can find out through the Diamond Finder, on baseballsoftballuk.com forward slash finder. And for all your way, for any way you want to get involved with, with the game or get your kids involved with the game in the baseball or softball, just follow the baseballsoftballuk.com forward slash finder. So we go into the top of the sixth. And Rachel, at this point, uh, are nerves uh, afraid now for both these teams? I think they'll be wondering what the heck's going to happen next. It's quite exciting to watch. Um, with only two innings to go, it's really anyone's match because both teams have got some awesome hitters coming up. So let's see. I'm sure there is a few nerves creeping into the system. Well, you've been here before as well. I mean, you've, you've had a few nerves in your time, I guess, with what, some high end tournaments that you've been in. What's been the most nerve wracking one for you? Actually, it was only last month at the, I took the, um, the GB under 19s to the European Championships and we went into the bottom of the seventh, 5 0 down against the Dutch, who were number one in Europe and defending champions. And we actually came back in that to a 5 5 all, bottom of the seventh, and then went to tie break. They scored two and then we scored three and I gave us up their hairs and it was fantastic. Most exciting part of softball I've ever had. As this one's turning out exciting too, as well, so we're going to. Alish Mrzlev singled. On the, this might be considered an error on the third baseman, if the, unless the uh, scorekeeper is generous. And then, but uh, coming up to bat next for the Chromies, who are going to try to come back and regain that lead, is Mo Flett. And now you can see for uh, it's, it's not easy for the bat batter or the catcher at this point with the sun in rise as it is a nice fly out to left center field. Holds a runner at first base. That's our first out of the inning. Pitcher David Lee is now up at bat with a runner at first. Uh, as you can see Kelly Spinks trying to shield her eyes from the low setting sun which is peaking below center field there and not easy for the batter either as I said but he actually manages to get past the shortstop and he'll go for, for two as we, as we have runners on second and third no Fred is still at third with only one out So 
I beg your pardon, Ashton Revel is at that third base right now. David Lee is second, and here we have coming up to bat next. Misha Zaklova, one of the Czech twins. And she checks this swing. And sack fly, which now ties up the game. Eric Kelly at bat next. Right center fielder. Three runners, just a runner on second at the moment. Two outs. Swing to left field, a goal foul. Steve Rice is now is in left field for the uh, Pioneers. Replacing Sean Spinks, brother of the pitcher, Dan Spinks. And Kelly at bat. He's 0 for 2 in this game. Steve Rice is on left field. His wife is playing third base, so we have quite a uh, marriage counseling here uh, on, the, on the diamond. And Vicky is uh, playing in right field. Her partner is in shortstop. So it's quite a family affair here. The opposite, it goes over the fence, passive for the foul pole, and that will notch another two runs for the Chromies. And we have a score at 9 7. Still only two outs uh, here with the, with the another home run by the Chromies uh, clearing the, you know, the, 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 we're looking at a, a seesaw of a game here. Um, it's 9-7 at the moment. It's still only two outs. Top of the six. Marquette is up to bat next. It's a clover for Chromies for the Czech Republic, too. One for two so far. And it's good to see her. Her, her parents must be very proud of her. See what I did there? Prague, I'll get me coat. And a swing by Marquetta goes past the first stop in for a single. And throughout, she'll be at first base as the next batter coming up for the Chromies will be looking to increase their lead that they've regained in this inning. Jake Palmer, the left fielder. And try to capitalize on still being alive uh, in this inning. Not trying not to be. As you can see, the sun glaring, not only just in the camera lens, but you can just imagine into the eyes under the peak of said batsman. I apologize for saying batsman, but that's the proper terminology. deep into left field and caught for the third out. So that will end the inning. And we're for, before we go to the top, the bottom of the six. And whether you're uh, at home or on the move, keep up to date with the latest news from British softball or baseball. 
Sign up now for BSUK's Hot Corner newsletter and get it delivered straight to your inbox. That's right, that's via email. So that will help you ease up your workload. Because, hey, we'll do it for you. Baseball softball, softball UK.com forward slash hot corner dash archive. Now it's uh, bottom of the six, and I guess the low level lighting like this must really affect not just the fielders, but right now is the, the batters. Definitely, and the umpires. Let's not forget them. They've got to be able to see the ball as well. Um, yeah, it must be really, really hard and tough to see. Mind you, better that than in the outfielder's eyes because that would be almost dangerous, I would think. So it's not that bad. Yeah, but bad enough for the cameramen who are uh, who are doing a stellar job in following the action, but uh, you can just tell that they're having a heck of a time adjusting to the focus. It doesn't help when it's, when it's partly cloudy at times. And, but uh, the... Pioneers now coming to the bottom of the sixth, trailing nine to seven. They're, they're taking the lead away from the Chromies, then giving it up again. And Dan Spinks up at bat. It's, or I take it back, actually. It's. Players make a substitution here and a nice swing away, but not good enough. Get away, get away, get away. Just, that'll be the rest of the first out. Michael Lee, the first out there for the Pioneers. Big Chevin now to bat. Her job is to try to get on base at least. Check swing, foul. Chopper to shortstop for the first in time. It's two outs. Now. It's the second year of this field uh, here in Farnham near Slough, and uh, it's pretty much it's helped uh, the baseball community big time, hasn't it, Vicky? Absolutely, it's a fantastic um, location for us to have softball. It's really good. It's easy to get to, close to the motorways, but it's been used so much by just your local grassroots softball, baseball players, as well as national teams. So it's a really good facility for us to have here. Hopefully we can make it bigger and better in the future as well. The whole epitome of if you build it, they will come. And as it has happened, they've all come to Slough here in Farnham for this so slow pitch softball final. Bobby Robinson now with that. Two outs, nobody on. And uh, 297, something's got to start happening here for the Pioneers because they're four outs away, or is it three away? From, yeah, that's the end of the inning now. Last chance saloon coming up later on for the Pioneers as that ends the uh, bottom of the sixth inning. Score still 9 7 in favor of the Chromies. As we look for the top of the seventh. Okay, whether you are a player, team, fan, or just a lover of baseball and softball, we want you to show us why the nation should play and what it means to you. Simply send us a short video to show the nation why they should be playing this wonderful sport of softball or baseball. The two most creative videos will be will win 100 pounds of vouchers for of baseball and softball vouchers, that is, courtesy of the baseball shop and the shop, softball shop. For more details, visit baseballsoftballuk.com forward slash video comp. That's capital V, capital C, by the way. Get in with the action. So we join the top of the seventh. Pioneers now have a new hitter, Natalie Bailey, now for the 
Chromies. And what do you know about Natalie? I played fast pitch with Natalie for a long time. She's a South African um, outfielder, fantastic player. Um, her husband's one of the coaches of the Chromies team. So it's a very, very family-based sport here in slow pitch. Everyone knows everyone. That's the thing. I guess it helps the uh, transport situation of driving and uh, probably sharing hotels as well. So makes it cheaper on the budget and childcare. Uh, so yeah, as we're looking here for uh, our, in our last inning of this final here in Farnham, in slow pitch final. Dan Spink still on the mound, or the rubber, I should say. That'll be a strike. Umpire calls it. Goes over the plate. And the, and the sun's just beginning to peek over the trees from the center field, so we're getting to see a bit of then a swing here. Goes to an out. That'll be the first out of the inning. So with, with the 9-7 lead, the Comies are hoping to pad that lead. There's a chopper to shortstop in time, but not in time to first base. Safe at first is Danny Gunn. He's safe at first. Yeah. Chai Louie now up at bat. Chai Louie. Trying to advance the runner, and that'll be a chopper to drops in the right field. Runners at the corners now. We have runners at first and third for the Chromies. There's still only one out. You never know. A sack fly would actually help pad this lead because the Pioneers only have three outs left to try to make a comeback. And Alice Reldia, who will. From Slovenia, now with bat. 0 for 3 so far. 1 for 3, a big pardon, for so far. And uh, the reason why he got a softball because he had enough of baseball, he said. But I guess uh, for some people, it does, it does, you do reach an age where you just want to change the tactics, and that tactic, massive hit, and that is. An unbelievable, towering home run over the scoreboard. His second of the game. MVP, I guess, would probably be, his vote would go to him right now. Who uh, now pad the lead with that three-run homer. 12-7. to seven. Still only one out. Romans aren't done yet here. Inflicting more damage on the Pioneers. We now have more of an uphill struggle now to deal with. Mo Flett. And up with that. The base is empty, but I guess you get on and this cause more of a threat. What do you know about Mo Flett? Rachel, have you played alongside her? I played GB um, women's team with Mo, and I've also played for the Angels at, um, at European Championships. She's the current slow pitch coach for Ireland. So she's very involved in this community. She played GB fast pitch and slow pitch. So she's been an awesome player in her time. So um, awesome girl. She runs out and as registers the next out for this inning, which is still only two outs now in the, bottom, in the top of the seventh. Came to bat now. More, more damage being inflicted by the Chromies. David Lee, he's now up at bat. He's got nobody on base at the moment with two us here, but uh, aiming to still inflict some damage. And that is a great base hit to left center field. He'll run to second and get there just in time. Debatable. But uh, it's not for up to us to do a video replay yet. We'll come to that when it comes one day when the league uh, allows it. 
Vividly at second with uh, Misha Soklova. The bat and she takes that one for the ball. The swing by Misha and that will be drop in for a blooper. One of the advance. Corners of the corners now. Next to bat. Eric Kelly. Corners of the corners. I think you have here. Great swing. Okay, that is going, going, gone. The onslaught continues. For the Chromies here against the Pioneers with another three run shot. Now the MVP vote is going all over the place now. 15 to 7 the score now. There's still only two outs. Okay, top of the seventh. Some dejected looks out here in the outfield from some of the Pioneers. Well, jubilation in the dugout for the Chromies. And I know that could be demoralizing for the Pioneers. Without a doubt. Yep, definitely some not so happy looking players out here. Marquetta Saklova. And a pair of check wins. And she, another bloop over the head. The second baseman. She gets on base as the floodgates continue to open. Make the bleeding stop is what the pioneers are thinking. But. Sent to bat next. Paul Goff now up at bat. Is there uh, Chromies are going to afford to do some substitutions here, and runners will advance. Runners are first and second. So the corners covered here, Chromies. It's a 15 to 7 romp here. Here's McKendrick here at the bat. Take it for a strike. He's a catcher. Vicky uh, has also been, I'm assuming, playing alongside you with you. I played with Vicky uh, for the London Angels, but she was a, a GB player before me. She's a she's a, a New Zealander who has a British passport. She's lived here for a very long, very long time, and she's played G, GB fast pitch and slow pitch for many years. And Antipodi and playing softball in the UK. Go figure. There's dozens of us, actually probably more like hundreds of us. It seems like just the natural thing to do when you move to this country is play, play softball. So. so the Pioneers finally get that, that third out that they desperately wanted like probably six runs ago. But uh, that'll end the inning. Top of the seventh. Now it's last chance to loom, last licks, bottom of the seventh. And we're, before we do that, if you actually want to get involved with our British Softball UK Academy. Good. Maximize your potential. BaseballSoftballUK.com forward slash academy is where you can learn how to improve your skills and bring your game to another level if you're already playing semi-pro or amateur in either baseball or softball. Registration is open. And with the details will be out shortly. And all you have to do is log on in a few days for BaseballSoftballUK.com forward slash academy. And you too could be on this beautiful field here in Farnham near Slough. As uh, three outs away from the end of this game, potentially. But uh, eight runs needed here, uh, Vicky, which is an uphill struggle. Absolutely. Um, it would take almost a miracle. That word's used a lot, but a miracle for them to come back now, I think. 
um, they look fairly demoralised as well, poor things. So let's hope, let's hope they can make it an exciting end to the game. They certainly did in the last innings, so fingers crossed. Stranger things have happened in this uh, tournament this weekend, so you never know. Amy Rice is up to bat now. And she's going to see all the weights put on her shoulders to bring some ray of light for the pioneers. And as a ray of light is still peeking through the trees in the center field and going to the eyes of the batter and the catcher. We're going to do a wonderful day here in, in the farm today because it's past few weeks hasn't exactly been very conducive for summer, but finally it's, it's, it feels like it's summer's last gasp here on August 31st, last day of August. I must, I must forget that. Oh yeah, it really is still summer. There's a pitch and a swing, and that goes to the shortstop, who throws it to first as the EKG machine is beginning to beep more frequently now for the uh, well, actually, maybe I should say less frequently. So they're going to flatline here soon unless they get something within these, these next two runs, next two outs, I should say. Steve Hazard now is up to him. He's had a wonderful game so far. But uh, with nobody on base, he can only hope to at least get on base. And leave it up to his teammates to drive him home. And, but he swings, and that goes deep, deep, deep. And, well, you know what? He doesn't actually have to worry about getting on base. He actually gets a solo home run here. Slowly chipping away at that deficit to make it 15 to 8. Now in favor of the Chromies. With one out still. So it, will this be a consolation run or the spark of the onslaught to come for the Pioneers? And it is, isn't easy to hit a, a ball that hard, is it? Absolutely not. That's a very deep fence. It's fantastic to see when it goes over by that far as well. It really takes a lot of effort. Well, we're throwing 300 feet here. Now the thing about uh, slow pitch softball is that it is there are different um, there are, there are different uh, size balls for uh, females and males um, here in, in slow pitch. Yet either way, doesn't no matter what size it is, that is a line out straight to the second baseman as it's borrowed time now for us two outs here for the Pioneers last chance here now for the Pioneers For a ball. Yeah. Dan Spinks now will rest on his shoulders for the beginning of any comeback with two outs here in the bottom of the seventh, the final inning of this final. Swing and it goes. High, high up, and gets underneath the left center fielder. And that'll end it as the Chromies win this spectacular final 15 to 8 in seven innings, who are now national champions in the UK in the 2014 season. And Vicky has been not, Rachel's been not working alongside you. Thank you for having me. It's been fun. We'll do this same time next year, and. Uh, and hopefully uh, we'll uh, see more advanced uh, stellar softball play like we've seen here today at Farnham. And on behalf of me, Eric Jansen, thank you for joining us.
I know it's like right there. To show the grey up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We're good? Sure, 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 for the female MVP is Laura Brockman from the Pioneers. Yeah.